Welcome back you guys, Glenn with Old School Millennial here. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to install an additional felling spike on your MS261C chainsaw, um, also called dogs. But yeah, this is one upgrade that's really easy. Uh, you just go to your dealer um, and purchase an additional dog. Um, for me, I find that it helps me um, whenever I'm bucking firewood or even whenever I'm felling a tree just to hold the the bar uh, more straight um, you're able to dig into um, the bark and actually just it just holds your bar straighter um, I like putting double dogs on on most of my chainsaws um, but yeah let's get started this is the kit that I got for this MS 261 um, you just add this outer felling spike to the clutch cover and then you add these bolts and nuts into the clutch cover and the size socket that uh, works on this is eight millimeter so I use a quarter inch uh, ratchet and I'll show you all real quick how to do this first off you have gotta take the clutch cover off and loosen the bar so first I'll do that I love these captive bar nuts so you don't lose them and you just loosen the chain I'm probably gonna have to clean up under here I haven't cleaned it up lately don't judge me Okay. All right. Yeah, that is dirty. I need to clean that up before I put that back together. Yikes. Okay, now that we got this thing cleaned up, let's put this thing on. Okay. So then you just set it on the outside like that. You take these bolts. Probably do them one at a time, but what I'm doing, I'm just starting them both so it holds on there. Then I'm going to come back and tighten in a second because it has grooves in there for them to sit in. So I'm just starting them for now. All right, 
So then you push up so it holds within that groove. We'll do the bottom one first. And just remember, you got a quarter inch ratchet. Tighten it. Don't snug that one up yet. Get this other one started. You can snug this one up since that one's mostly tightened. All right, tighten it on there. Lock that one down. And there you go. Now let's put this clutch cover back on. So just remember when you're putting it back together, you just put the, you start your chain, put it inside the bar. Get that started. into place a little bit so you just start these by hand chain is tightening up it's not binding then just keep going get it pretty tight with your hand okay then you hold your bar up and you start to tighten your chain don't over tighten. That's one thing that a lot of people do. They bind up bars and cause excessive wear. You don't want to do that. It's better to under tighten than to over tighten. All right. You don't have to hit those pretty, you don't have to hit those very hard. Just one handed, just like that. Not, not too good, not too bad. Okay. And I just push mine. And there you go. And this is what the finished product looks like. Awesome. Some people like bigger felling spikes, but these will work good for this size chainsaw. So thanks for joining me, you guys. My hope is that this will help somebody out there that maybe they purchased a new chainsaw and they're looking for their first new upgrade. Uh, this is an inexpensive upgrade that can help it perform a little bit better. Uh, but as I always say, if you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.